In this video, I'll be showing you how to install the multi-bypass tray on a Sawgrass SG printer. While I'll be presenting this with the SG-1000 printer, the process shown here will also apply to the SG-500 printer and multi-bypass tray. The SG-1000 can fit sheets up to 11 by 17 inches in the built-in paper tray. The multi-bypass tray holds up to 100 additional sheets and it allows you to load larger sheets up to 13 by 19 inches. The SG-500 multi-bypass tray can also hold up to 100 additional sheets and that one accommodates paper up to 51 inches long, retaining the maximum width of 8.5 inches. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our anti-toppling stand here. You're going to insert the top tab like so. Then you're going to grab the included screw. And you're going to screw it in place. It doesn't have to be super tight. You just want it a little snug. Uh, so that way it doesn't go anywhere. Next, we're going to get this little tray feeder. You'll notice there's three little grooves or three little holes in there. They're going to lock in. Then as you bring it up, there's these tabs right here. You want to press those down. So you hear it snap in place and that should be snugly snapped in right there. Okay, and you're gonna see that there's some clips and tabs and an ethernet connector right here. You're gonna wanna make sure everything's lined up. And once it is, you're gonna press up like that and you should see it click in place. To remove it with both hands, press the buttons and it'll remove that easy. To load your paper, First, we're just gonna open this up all the way. You're gonna clip that little tab and widen it. Then you're gonna pull out the support tab, especially for larger paper. I'm gonna be loading our 13 by 19 inch VersaFlex light media. Of course, you could use any oversized paper you want. With the tab, I'm just gonna adjust it here. You don't want it gripping super tight on the paper, uh, just enough so that way it feeds in straight. And there you go, our paper is loaded and now we can go into Sawgrass Print Utility and I'll show you how we send large items to print through the multi-bypass tray. Okay, so here in Sawgrass Print Utility, we're gonna create a job just like any other. You're gonna bring in your file. This is my test file for oversized VersaFlex prints. Of course, you're gonna wanna size it to your desired width. In this case, I want it to be 12 and a half inches wide exactly. Still not gonna fit. We're gonna scroll down a little bit more. Now my product is correct, but my media size is not. So I'm gonna change my media size to A3+, plus, which is 13 by 19 inches. And then you'll notice it automatically adjusts to bypass tray. Now, if it doesn't, no worries. You just go to media source and select bypass tray. And this is ready to go. I'm just gonna click print. And my printer is gonna to know to load my paper straight from the bypass tray. All righty, and there you go. Our print is done, and it is huge. Printed it on the VersaFlex 13-inch by 19-inch paper. Of course, you could use your regular sublimation paper or any sublimation media in the multi-bypass tray. Multi-bypass trays for the SG500 and SG1000 printers are also backwards compatible with the SG400 and SG800 printers if you're still running those. For any details or questions about Sawgrass printers and hardware, call one of our My Expert representatives at 800-215-0894 or visit us online at heatpressnation.com.